You're listening to the Doug Stanhope Podcast. My coffee's almost done. Yeah, I'm not in a hurry. Jesus Christ. I just want to look at myself and marvel at the fact that I'm alive. <laughs> Reported. <Yeah. laughs> Somebody once asked, could I spare a little cash? Maybe that's how I opened the podcast. Singing? No, by asking questions that need to be asked. Yeah. Rhetorical questions, or are they going to be directed at people in the room? No. Are we recording? Yeah, so I'll, I'll just ask. Can I get my coffee? Oh, uh, you're wearing that sharp jacket. I'm so glad I didn't burn that one. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Are you smoking in the room? Yeah, I'm smoking in the goddamn room. Does it look like we're outdoors? Did it's Skank you? Fest, and I'm a goddamn Diamond Medallion member now. What are they going to do? I'm here for four days. Do you think they're going to smell this cigarette in four days from now? I'm just kidding. I'm a, I'm a little peachy. I woke up the first morning of Skank Fest feeling a little peachy. Little fuzzy. Tracy, can we get a tissue for Doug's? Don't, don't. Why? You're just smearing it. Why? I don't have. There's a, a huge booger hanging out of your well, nose. Then why don't you just grab it? Because <laughs> I didn't have my booger grabber. Uh, <laughs> I left it in the car. The inchworm will get it. Inchy will get it. Uh, I felt, yeah, I felt booger snarty last night. And I was thinking, I, I can't keep picking up my nose like this. Yeah, it, not it's in public. look like I'm doing coke. I don't even know if there's even drugs anymore. I thought, how am I going to get through Skank's Fest? And I go, I'm not doing coke. That's one thing for sure. And I go, I don't know if anyone does coke. At- There's a trash can right here. Oh, he's checking. No, I wasn't checking. I was looking for a trash can. That's <laughs> right. Yeah, I don't know if people do anything Underneath. Like that. Oh, shit. I just knocked it over. <laughs> All right. Uh, Skank Fest is like, uh, we're in Houston, and it's like 100 comedians, and uh, all like, uh, it's like the kind of festival where no one is <laughs> expecting to get a deal or meet an agent. <laughs> no work comes yeah, out. Of there's no guy. there's no networking here. There's uh there's a lot of one upsmanship from what I've seen. I just uh, there's a yearbook. I uh, we're in it. We were here in 2016. We weren't here. It was in Brooklyn then. This is Skankfest South. South. How many years have somebody they done once this? asked, could I spare some change for gas? I got to get myself out of this place. And he said, yeah, hey, what a concept. I could use a little change myself and we could all use or fuel myself and we could all use a little change. And they fucking, I've actually tweeted at, I think that's Smash Mouth. Smash Mouth. Like, yeah. did you give him fucking money or not? You, he, he gave you this giant revelation, but you never fucking f- finished the tale of whether or not you gave that motherfucker change for gas. Did you, did you turn it into some Buddhist fucking thing? <laughs> And then go, oh, what a concept. And left the guy fucking hanging at a Flying J truck stop. And they won't answer my fucking question. I'm sorry. I, you said, what do I have for notes? And I go, I'm going to start out with the Because for some reason, that song was in my head. Can we get another tissue, Tracy? Really? Like, no, stop. Am I, am I creating booger snarts it's, as it's I just sing? push it on the side of your nose now? Oh, for Christ's yeah. sake. I, well, it, where was the booger snack the whole time? If it was on the other side, I wouldn't have seen it. But it's on this side. I got to look at it. And it's, but my I, eye keeps darting from your... I know, uh, but I just wiped out my booger snarts. Your, and, uh, unkept eyebrows to your fucking boogery nose. Oh, my God. Why don't you have Tracy do my <laughs> eyebrows? Well, you have to make I an have appointment. have a full day. Okay, this is what happens. We're in Houston, and we're at Skank Fest, and it's, we're at the Hilton's Americas. Or the Hilton uh, Americas. It's, a, it's a, one of those... Really fancy downtown Hilton. This is a skyscraper. Now we're on the 175th floor or something. And, uh, everything, like a margarita is like $14.95. Anyway, so, uh, I, I, I've always had the problem where once I wake up in a hotel, I have to go find the breakfast situation before I miss something for free. And I know there's nothing free here, even though I'm a diamond member of the Hilton. Organization honors. now. I think it's honors. Yeah, Hilton program. Honors. You, you don't give away the secret codes. <laughs> I don't know the initiation yet. But I had to go down to breakfast, which they go, oh, it's a buffet and it's open till 11. And uh, you go, oh, that's going to be like 40 bucks for a fucking buffet. So I went in the, 
I went in the like the basically the exit of the buffet and uh, got a made to order omelet. And the way you get it free is you don't sit down. If you go in the exit and you just put your fucking made to order omelet in, and while they're making it, you can go tool around and just pick off the the buffet and eat a pineapple or a slice of sausage or bacon. And then once you're but you're standing there with a plate. Well, they have your plate, but you but making, you're but you're yeah, I got perusing the buffet yeah. line. And then you get all the things that you like on, and then you get your your omelet, and then you just keep going, out, go right out the exit, and grab the last pair of silverware off the last table, and get right on the elevator. I think it's free. Maybe it wasn't. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not saying I was stealing. I don't know. It's not like you didn't bring your wallet. You yeah, would like they would. I mean, it didn't say exit. Just seemed like an it, 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 incongruent way to enter. <laughs> Is that a word? I might have nailed that it one. It works, I guess. Hmm. So you had an omelet. Uh, yeah, I just had my free breakfast yeah. skank omelet. Skank what breakfast. we're missing for this, and I really wanted to do skank parade. This is the first, technically the first day. They had the opening, like, uh, rush <laughs> week, whatever you call it. Yeah, the, Parents' day last night? Yeah, they had parents' <laughs> day. What was that? Uh, it was at a place. Is that where the whole thing is taking place? Yep. The Secret Garden? Yeah, so it's a it's a multi multi stage venue. Secret group. Secret group. Yeah. So Yeah, it's got four venues in one venue and uh and a rooftop. Yeah, what is it outdoor? But I don't know. I didn't see all of it. There's the main room, the karaoke room, the oh yeah, the stand up room where you did a set, and then upstairs is the Let's podcast. talk about fucking Mike Burbiglia. What a dick. What? Mike Burbiglia. You know, first it was Pete Holmes. All these nice guys. Pete Holmes never aired our podcast. It's never even we did a podcast about Pete Holmes not airing my podcast yeah. episode that I did of his podcast. And now this Mike Burbiglia got a fucking he I just and I'm off Twitter and every time I just look at Twitter once, it's like something that upsets me. And Burbigs got on a fucking flight you you know those stories where someone gets on a plane and it's empty yeah like they just happen to accidentally book one guy on a, a like they have to make the flight yeah they were scheduled. supposed to they were yeah. deadheading anyway because yeah, yeah. the plane has to be in minneapolis and he got one he got one of those empty flights like you're you're famous or semi-famous and you get to have one of those famous people who only happens to one person's stories and it was on fucking american airlines who just <laughs> fucked me so hard I've been flying for 30 years, and American Airlines is the worst. You know, uh, it's the Indiana of airlines. It's the, yes, it's, it's, and you can say, yes, Spirit and Frontier, but Spirit and Frontier say, hey, listen, we're going to fuck you. Do you want a party? You know what you're getting into, yeah. Spirit. We're going to fuck joke. you at every angle, and it's they're like they're a joke airline. But as far as American is supposed to be a decent airline. Like, I've been forgetting to put that in that bit. Like, you got to remember, American Airlines were first into the Twin Towers. <laughs> that's right. And that's for a reason, because terrorists have... That's the, that was the only time they were ever on time. <laughs> <laughs> American Airlines, I leave early to go on these stupid tours. I leave a day early, and sometimes I have to leave a day early to leave a day early, meaning I have to go up from Bisbee to stay over in Tucson to leave from Tucson the next morning to get to the gig a day early. So I, I, I don't miss gigs. So I left early. I had a flight out of American Airlines and they made national news. Leaving Tucson. Yeah, I was leaving Tucson on American Airlines and, uh, and they just fucked like they, the, the Southwest did this a few weeks ago. But they, they famously, they, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. and famously that weekend, American Airlines canceled like fifteen hundred flights. Actually, it's like nineteen hundred by the time the whole weekend was over. Because the day they fucked me, uh, I never fly American, but I, 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 I wanted the nonstop, and I wanted to burn miles. And I was meeting up with Junior in Dallas. They had a so nonstop. Both of you were flying American. Yeah, that's one of you city comics. You motherfuckers that you get nonstop flights. I never, unless I'm playing Atlanta yeah. or I'm playing Salt Lake, there's no nonstops out of Tucson. So, uh, so I go, fuck it. I have some old miles from American <laughs> from a credit card that I could burn and get a nonstop. And I knew, uh, I'm going to get fucked. 
every time I fly American Airlines, I get fucked and they do it with a frown and, and, and they <laughs> rub salt into your wound. So I book it. Then I read the story how they just famously fucked over the weekend because of they say weather and then they say mechanical. You really, you had 1500 flights with mechanical. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, it's understaffing is the if it, problem. If it was mechanical, then every airline that had that same plane. Well, Americans were still, they don't serve alcohol yeah. because oh. they had so many fucking fatheads throw temper tantrums on their air, airlines. Well, that comes from the top down. Delta still serves alcohol, still has no problems because they treat their fucking employees right. And then their employees aren't constantly fucking angry and taking it out on you to make you throw fucking temper tantrum to where they go. They blame alcohol. No, blame your own stupid fucking cut face. You know, people don't, <laughs> you, you, you motivate people to throw temper tantrums because you're treated poorly. It's like child abuse. You know what? Abuse people that were victims of abuse. They pass it on to the customer. So here's what I, I did the brilliant move, Chaley. What I did is I go, Oh, they're canceling flights out the Yahoo. 24 hours you have to cancel a flight. So I had a, a 3.30 p.m. departure on American. And I go, I'm going to safeguard myself. Inside of 24 hours, I'm going to book the 4.45 on Delta that has a connection. And that way I'm safeguarded. And I can cancel it's at the last up. minute. Once I know that American is on time, I can call Delta and cancel it. Brilliant. Then as I'm checking my bags into the American Airlines flight early that afternoon, three hours early. I went, oh, I just checked my bags in. I'm fucked. Three hours early. But on time, on time, on time. I'm at the bar. I'm at the other bar. At some point, I go, I got to call Delta. This is the other problem. Is now when I, you call the airline, because they're all understaffed, they don't pick up the phone. Thought you had a we can give you a call back in 38 minutes. Yeah, no, I used to before the they pandemic. They don't have that now? Well, they, 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 yeah, they used Maximus? to go. Well, they, no, they would, thank you for calling back, Douglas. Your call will be answered in approximately 47 minutes. If you'd like an automatic call back, yeah. you won't lose your place in the line. Like they used to go straight to yeah, yeah, yeah. Diamond Medallion. They'd, they'd I'm double like, Diamond. Douglas. Hilton Good Diamond. Afternoon, Douglas. Hilton Diamond, Delta Diamond, Double Diamonds. I'm smoking in a room. And I get a free omelet without even asking for it. Yeah. Complimentary. Uh, so I, I, all right. It's getting close. I better call Delta now to cancel that other flight because it's going to be a while before I get a call back. I canceled the other flight as soon as I canceled American delay sitting at the bar. It's Tucson. Like I'm how, a how long hundred yards the, from the gate, but you can't see it. How long till the flight takes off? Uh, uh, an hour, 45 yeah. minutes or something. I've already canceled Delta, but I'm watching the board say delayed yeah. now. I'm like, <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm, I, 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 I got this. But you were at the Mexican restaurant? Yeah. Yeah, so you're at the other end of the concourse mm -hmm. or the jetway from... Still 100 yards. Yeah. And then it says boarding. And I go, ah, I better go, but I'm not in a hurry. There was this old uh, myth that I've myth busted that... Once you check bags, they're, they're not going to leave without they you. They can't. No, yeah, they can't leave That's the or myth. they have to take your bags off. Yeah. So that was the myth that Didn't I Hennigan busted. Didn't tell us that? I thought you told me that. I think Hennigan told me that. It's like, no, right. you check a bag because they have to wait for you. And I always, we, we all, you, when we're at the bar sitting right across from our gate in, in, in Delta flights in Tucson, you're like, oh, no, we'll just go on last. Yeah. Because they can't, they can't get rid of us it, because well, that's, they, their bag is there. And that made sense for why you occasionally, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Thomas Jones, please report to your gate. And you keep hearing yeah, one yeah. person's name. Who gives and a like, fuck? Like, they yeah. wouldn't leave me. Yeah. They never call my name. They just fucking leave. And you go, oh, they must have a bag check. Yeah. Because they can't leave. They, they, they can fucking ditch you on a connection, but they can't ditch you on your outgoing. This is the myth. Yeah. It turns out. Uh, we'll be right back, I believe. <laughs> 
This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Check out BetterHelp.com slash Stanhope for 10% off your first month. Life is full of stressors. It doesn't matter who you are or what you have. Your life is probably stressful. Better help. You better help. You better help me. You ever get to that place where you have the dark, dark thought where you think, oh, I should tell one of my close personal friends this. And then you realize, I don't like any of my friends. Why are these people here? Why are they bothering me? Why are they haunting me? They're not my real friends. Am I doing a James Inman impression pretty good? Why am I so just uh, uh, despondent? And why do I hate myself so much? I take it out on the people that love me, even though they just make goofs out of me. I'm not just a big goof. Why are they always... Maybe just call someone who doesn't know who you are, James Inman. Call someone who's unbiased, who doesn't have a history with you, like the people at BetterHelp. Maybe you're not feeling down and out and depressed or like you're at a total loss, but if your stress is high, your temper is shorter than usual, or even if you're starting to feel the strain in any of your relationships, you could probably use a chance to unload. Unload the stress and get it out. Talk to someone who's completely unbiased about your life, someone who isn't going to judge you or take sides on anything. When there are things you can't tell anyone or feel like you can't unload to family and friends, you need to unload it, and that's what therapy can be. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist, so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can start communicating with your therapist in under 48 hours. Unload the stressors and get some unbiased feedback. You'd be pretty surprised at what you might gain from it. See if it's for you. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and Doug Stano podcast listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash Stanhope. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash Stanhope for 10% off your first month. So it says boarding. I go, ah, I'm in no hurry. I'll be last on the plane. And I finish my drink at a casual pace. And I walk down to the B11. And uh, the people are just getting off the plane. I mean, you weren't boarding at all. And it's like a fucking bus station at that end. The fucking American end of the, the B concourse well, is in the Tucson. Is the yeah, it's a fucking Greyhound station. Yeah. There's fucking chickens and fucking <laughs> kids with bows and arrows and stuff. <laughs> and I... I go, you're not fucking boarding. And I go, fuck this. I'm going back for another drink. Then it says, by the time it, when it's, I left the bar, it said boarding. When I got back, delayed now again till 3.51 PM or whatever. I go, fuck. And I just sat there and I drank and I waited for it to say boarding again. Yeah. Cause now it's delayed. It's not boarding. And then I get like five minutes before it's supposed to be leaving. I go, I'm going to walk down there. I'll watch my shit. <laughs> I'm not fucking hammering another drink. I'm going to go down and. And I get down there, the gate's closed. And I go, but I, 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 I they go, the, the, that flight left. I go, no, I can, I'm, why, I, I, I'm looking at the plane. the plane. It's right there. Yeah. Well, we made a lot of announcements. Uh, I'm sorry. You, uh, you're supposed to be. I go, it says delayed on the, and you said boarding before and you weren't boarding. And then the other flight attendant gets, goes through the gate to go down to the flight. I go, they're going onto the plane. Yeah. I can get on the fucking plane. I go, sorry, sir. And then like, just, just like they, they couldn't wait to fuck someone. Yeah. No, no, you should have been here. It's your fault. And I went, so I didn't want to do the big temper tantrum yeah, thing yeah. and go viral. Get on TV. Get, get even more, <laughs> more alcohol service canceled. Yeah. Fuck you. I'll just go back to Delta. And I go, listen, I just canceled a flight just, just like 30 minutes ago. So that seat has to still be there. And they're, you know, now they're starting to board the Delta flight that I had buffered my, my yeah. edged my bet with. And they, they start tapping at the computer and they say, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that seat's still there, but, uh, it won't let me sell it to you for some reason. Try going through the app and I try going through the app and it says that it doesn't even say the flight exists, yeah. much less a seat. Probably locked it out. And they're like, yeah, I don't understand this. And the fucking Delta knows me. 
Yeah. I'm a regular there. You would have got gate. through the gate there. And they, they, so hang on. So as they're boarding this flight, the guy's on the phone and he goes, yeah, I bought that flight for $279. And he, he's finally gets someone on, he goes, yeah, it's going to be $781. And I went, what? Okay. He goes, hang on. She's going to take over because he had to go help with the boarding and he hands it. The phone, the same phone he gives to uh, the other gate agent, Angelina, and uh, she's like, hang on, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm waiting interminably, like, as I'm watching the fucking lines slowly pour out, she goes, yeah, it's going to be $1,100. And I'm like, what is this seat on eBay? It was just $700 on the same phone call. You handed the phone And she goes, I don't feel comfortable selling it to you for this, but this is uh, outrageous. Yeah. And uh, at that point, I'm like, fuck it. I'm just gonna, I'll get a, uh, you know, what? what? I'm on, I'm on a podcast, honey. <laughs> you have a question? <coughs> Do you want it? it? She, Bingo just woke up on, in a fucking dream state and she's hollering questions. He wanted an omelet and he went and got it. Okay. We're all good. Yeah, everything's fine, honey. Bye bye now. Okay. Where's Tracy? What? Oh, I think I think that drink might be the thing. Uh, so she's uncomfortable selling you the ticket because yeah. she knows who you are and she knows that's unconscionable to, to yeah raising like, the price as like two hundred. Uh, I go, you know, I'll just I'll take my American Airlines credit that I have now. I'll just fly out in the morning on a nonstop. Yeah, I go downstairs to the ticketing for American. They go, yeah, and they're they they act like I fucked them over. Yeah, okay. Well, the only flight we can get you out is 11 o'clock tomorrow, and I'll get in at like 2, 3 in the afternoon. Like, cutting it close. Yeah. And you won't have first class anymore. You'll get a you get a middle seat and coach. And I went, all right, just give me the ticket. You just got to get to the gig. That's day of show. Yeah, day of show. And then I thought, well, cutting it that close, Americans still canceling flights. Yeah. I mean, I I, I might have gotten fucked on this one, but they're still canceling other flights. Uh, they canceled 400 that day, it turned out, uh, across the country. So then I go to Delta to hedge my bet yet again. They go, oh, we can get you out at 6 a.m., but you have to go through Salt Lake, which is still not an airport. You still have to take a bus and yeah. walk fucking four miles. Salt Lake's the one... That's totally still the, yeah. The Delta terminals, and if you're coming in from Tucson, you always get in at the last furthest yeah, yeah. Uh, gate every time, and then have to go to the the furthest yeah. extreme other part of the airport. Uh, so I, that's a six a.m. flight. I go and I, I I'm a Delta uh, uh, Hilton Diamond, so I go to the Hilton Double Tree, our usual airport hotel, Tucson. Now I'm just angry. <laughs> no, I, I can I can make make up my mind in the morning if I wake up in time for a six a.m. flight. That'll get me in earlier. And, but I know I'll make the gig, or I could sleep in and risk it all on Delta, and uh, possibly I mean American and possibly miss the gig. And I went and I had a cocktail at the Double Tree, and I said, you know what, Jimmy John's is there's a Jimmy John's here because they're fucking. Menus suck shit. Every time I stay there a million times a year and I stare at that menu every time going, there has to be something that's edible. And there, there isn't. There just isn't. It's awful. So I went, Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's is a new, uh, because just because of the Jimmy Peppers. Otherwise it's fucking Subway. Well, it's Subway with an attitude like they're better than Subway. They are Subway. better bread at Jimmy John's. Absolutely. Yeah, but they, they have a fancy. shitty attitude. They won't give you mustard. We'll give you no, a packet of mustard. Give, no, no, they'll give you Jimmy John's Jimmy, brown mustard. Jimmy mustard. Smart, yeah. smart if you're if you're in the mustard game because they're they, selling mustard. I don't know why, but just this smarminess. I, yeah, there yeah. used to be a sushi bar in Tucson Airport, just four seats before yeah. they renovated. The last four seats was a little mini sushi bar. And this uh, Han was his name. Yep. He was the sushi chef. And he was like the soup Nazi uh, sushi chef. If I ordered the white tuna, he would not serve me uh, soy sauce. He wouldn't give me soy sauce. No, it's got a special sauce. I forget what they call it. There's a 
It's like soy sauce, like basically. Like the sweet one? or a, like No, it's like, like, a, like a thin soy sauce. Like a ponzu or something? Yeah, ponzu. All right. I think. Uh, so I would have to order like uh, 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 like sushi ahead of like I would order yellowtail, and then he would give me soy sauce. Oh. And then afterwards, I'd go, oh, could I also get an order of white tuna? Because uh, I already had the soy sauce. I had to trick him. <laughs> Because he would not physically actually hand me fucking soy sauce. It's no, no, no. His rules. Yeah. Anyway, then he got fired. Then they closed the sushi bar, probably because of me and my soy yeah. sauce issues. <laughs> Jimmy John's is like that with their fucking mustard. Uh, if you want yellow mustard, we'll give you a packet, but we're not putting it yeah, on you there. You have to now be part of the sandwich. Fucking artistry. assholes. But they have the Jimmy Peppers, and that. That's why we're all like, oh, I, 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 I want to, I want some Jimmy John's. I just want those fucking peppers. Yeah, they do sell those in a gallon <laughs> jar. Like a, 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 a teaspoon is enough for yeah. a whole sandwich, and you crave that maybe twice a week. A gallon. Oh yeah, we'll sell you a gallon of it eh, or none to stock in your uh, bomb shelter. So I was craving a fucking Jimmy John's. I was upset. Now I'm drunk and angry. I, I, I'm I just figuring out any way I can fuck American Airlines. But Junior and I were at the bar the other night, and uh, we go, you guys in town for business? And I said, uh, yeah, we work for American Airlines. And then just started talking all this shit about how we're going to start fucking people, and we're gonna put, we're putting in pay toilets. Sa- sabotaging. <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> Hey, <laughs> we're just Junior and I are just talking really loud yeah. about how we all the new things we're going to do to fuck the customer on American Airlines. <laughs> anyway, so I'm in that head space and I'm miserable. And now I'm going to have to get up. I know I'm going to have to go Delta. I'm not going back to fucking America. Go crawling back and risk getting fucked again, and then being the viral story and not getting a cocktail on yeah. the flight that I'm getting thrown off. <laughs> And uh, my Jimmy John's, they deliver. I'm like, shit, there's a Jimmy John's. I can't drive because I'm drunk. Uh, but they deliver. And I got my Jimmy John's sandwich. Forgot the fucking Jimmy oh, Peppers. man. So now I'm just eating a Subway sandwich. Insult to injury. Pouty. Fucking angry. And then I look at goddamn Twitter yesterday. There's Mike Berbiglia all fucking smiling underneath. You can see his... Big, stupid, fucking innocent smile through his mask. <laughs> it's gonna. I got on the plane and it was completely empty. And the crew was just as surprised as me. And they asked me for a picture. And I said, I want a picture too. And he posts a fucking picture of him on taking an empty plane. And it's goddamn American Airlines. So you know why they're fucking empty? They shut the gate and didn't <laughs> let anybody on it. Just out of spite. Yeah, how did he Lucky get on? fuck. <laughs> nice acts get all the work. And all the all the breaks. Let's take a break. Yeah. We got ads to do. Oh shit. We have ads to do. I have an ad right now. I'm wearing an ad right now. Stage man underpants. I haven't written the commercial, but this time I get to write the commercial. So I'm just gonna say go to stageman.com, I'm guessing. Fucking Google it, ladies. I don't have ad copy. This was a deal I worked out, and I don't have to read some fucking page of nonsense because this dude says, oh, yeah, I used to do this and that, and now I have an underwear company, and I told him about my uh, favorite underpants. He goes, yeah, this is different. This stage man, it doesn't just like uh, like other underpants uh, like hold your nuts away from your 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 thighs. This has like a pouch you put all of your junk into. All but fucking beans and weenies, the whole thing fucking goes into one like this snout. Yeah, like a almost yeah. a cylinder. Yeah, like, like a, if you, yeah. if you saw, you might think it's like because I used to date this girl Pandora that she sewed her own fucking. She worked for a, a like a, a lingerie place where she was a seamstress, seamstress, and they would make the the banana slingers where it's underwear, but you, it's just a hole for your dick. Yeah. Well, you go, well, that, that's fine if you you're, have a, at least a semi-erection, but <laughs> if you're flaccid, that's just loose fabric. And he's like, no, this holds, this is, it's almost like a push-up bra yeah. effect yeah. where you put all your fucking, your balls and cock in, go into the pouch, keeps them completely away from your body. Other underpants, yeah, 
that little pouch works for a minute and then it, uh, it or it doesn't at all yeah they yeah. they stretch and they, they it, no this is and i you know how rarely i change my clothing <laughs> i've worn these for days and yeah your fucking cock and balls never touch your inner thigh it, and it, it and it makes you present not through your clothing when <laughs> Uh, the guy said yeah, when he was describing them to me, I met him after a show. Mr. Stage. Yeah, Stage Man is his actual name. Yeah. And it's a perfect name for these underpants. Yes, it's the whole package. He said, yeah, Burt Kreischer, I gave him a pair. And he said his wife won't let him wear them around the house because it scares the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Chad Shank has been just blowing up my phone talking about how great these underwear are. I should read some of anyway. I'll, we'll have plenty yeah. of opportunities. Go to Stageman Underpants. Stageman.com. Yep. Use promo code Stanhope to get a 10% discount. It's you buy two pairs of these. You never have to yeah, fucking yeah. buy underwear again in your life. There's a cotton They're one and a, and a and a cotton uh spandex blend one. Which is more like a like a I've, I've, workout I've, short. Yeah, but, I've, I've done both, and yeah. I, they're both they're both comfortable. And uh, after we drove from Bisbee to Plano, Texas, mm -hmm. uh, two days driving, didn't think about uncomfortable ball sweats. The whole, you know what I'm yeah. like, right? That whole thing was like you're, you're kind of fidgeting, yeah, you know? If you're you're yeah. peeling them apart. Yeah, yeah. Or you could feel yeah. the ball slide down your thigh. <laughs> yeah, none it feels of that. Like you're stepping in gum. Yeah. Your, your thigh pulling away from your balls. And the gum won't come off. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, uh, that was that was uh, that was just something I noticed because right before I left, he sent us uh, another a care pack for the tour, mm -hmm. a bunch of pairs, and I took all of the underpants in my bag out and put brand new stageman packs in there, and I've just been banned by Bert Kreischer's <laughs> wife. Stageman underpants. You just have fun wearing them. <laughs> this is my favorite sponsor ever. So yeah, do that. And we'll get paid. Two pairs is all you're going to need for the rest of your underpants Try life. Try it, man. All right. Uh, let me smoke one more cigarette. Please hold. <laughs> you are listening to the Doug Stanhope Podcast. We're back. We're uh, two cigarettes in. And we're, we're, we're going to wrap this up pretty much. We I don't think we have any stories for we did the houston and plano and addison uh i don't think we have any stories just the road we're coming to florida we're gonna wrap this up in florida bingo and i are going to the uh twa hotel at jfk for her birthday yeah we're coming to new york city are we leaving the airport fuck no there's <laughs> absolutely no reason it's jfk right yeah jfk's like that's already one of the worst airports in the fucking country why would i I'm not gonna throw good money after bad and go into the actual city. Uh, and then we're, do, we're gonna do Florida. Junior's coming back for one more ride. And we're then we're time off. Then we're gonna reassess all of our values. <laughs> our moral compasses are gonna be realigned. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna poop excessive amounts of Jimmy Johns that are backed up in my system after so many flights. So many the amount of meat that I've eaten. I counted up. <laughs> Starting in Philly, I got on. I we did the Philly cheesesteak because you have to, and then I started. Me and Junior started. I ate five Philly cheesesteaks, and then I you did three realized, shows in Philly. It wasn't one day. Well, yeah, yeah, but no, I in, in like two days I ate five Philly cheesesteaks. Wow! And then I realized that that fucking Double Tree has a Philly cheesesteak. It's terrible. in Tucson. Yeah. Okay. Where I go, there's never anything on this menu. That I want because I never want a fucking Philly cheesesteak. But after I get on that kick, and then all this flying, and then you take fucking Xanax, and you're always dehydrated. I hydrate nothing, and I'm just like I am literally full of shit. I can feel meat up to my like I, it's it's pressing on my uh, solar plexus. <laughs> I'm just full of meat, and I, I'm not pooping enough, uh, and it, that has to end. This well, is why we, I say this is what you pay the ticket price for is what, how much I'm fucking dying. I'm having a cocktail at 11 a.m. Uh, on a s stolen omelet. I brought you more liquid IVs. I figured you might be oh, out yes. to hydrate up. So those are we're leaving those. You know, when you can't drink water, that makes you yeah. want to drink water. Yeah, In yeah. fact, can I get a fucking, I don't even care, anything but pina colada. 
I fucking hate. I want the pina coladas. Good. Yeah. Do you want tangerine? Uh, tangerine is yeah, fantastic. You want a cocktail uh, with it, or do you want water? I'll, I'll, yeah, just throw half one in a water, uh, and that will There's make me drink right two waters, and it won't be too sweet. Uh <laughs> It just the joke. The yeah. Joke water. What is? It's, it's not even hydrated. Oh, we have liquid death at the house. Oh, we do. Liquid death is a new sponsor right. that we made on our own. I saw people walking around that last night. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's fucking great. We're starting to see it in um, Liquid Death. It's like just at, at it's a, it's a Love's truck stops. It, it looks it. like an energy drink in a can, and it's called Liquid Death. And you know what it is? It's either water or sparkling water. <laughs> so if you're, like, not drinking, but you don't want to look like a tool, just, yeah, give me a Liquid Death. <laughs> but it looks like a rock star energy yeah, drink. Yeah. I know. It looks that's what I thought it was for the longest time. Mm -hmm. Nope. It's just fucking water. <laughs> called liquid death i think they have some angle by calling it that it's something about the environment but i just think it's really funny to walk around drinking liquid death and you're just having water <laughs> it gets ridiculous because i can sell that <laughs> irony mm. Mm. uh we uh we yeah we'll talk to them about uh sponsorship yeah uh because they sent a bunch to the house uh raiders yeah well Raider fucking, we could go old school and sponsor on 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 the uh what do, you, what do you what do you call it uh, uh, on the cuff yeah like, I, yeah so hey, you, you fucking put, take care of me i'm gonna fucking motion here you. that seems yeah, like there's some, some mob fucking term like on the house like yeah hey, yeah fucking hook us up and we'll hook you up yeah that never works out with i know it, it never did <laughs> it never did with us either yeah we used to have underpants that we liked uh and I still would have to say hey sorry i found a way better underpants yeah. we used to we used to sell your underpants like just because we like them, but these are way better, and uh, and they're an actual sponsor. You were never you just sent us a couple free pairs of underpants. No, we get paid with Stage Man. Yeah, you get paid the whole package. <laughs> Stage Man, come see package. us. Uh, uh, I don't know if uh, if you uh, Vegas is sold out yet. Nope, still got tickets. Go to the Plaza. Uh, New Year's Eve. Go to the Plaza's website. There's uh, package deals for uh, room and uh, tickets. Yeah, and then uh, then next year is mostly so far. I think we're going to do some uh, Southern California and New York City. Uh, there's New a York's whole lot of uh, UK. Get your fucking UK tickets. They're all on DougStanhope.com. I don't know if I'm going to make it through this weekend. Honestly, they fucking have me scheduled for shows. Like today, I I, I have seven shows in the next. Uh, you know, 30, 30 hours. 30? Yeah, like a 2 o'clock, a 5 o'clock, a 7 o'clock, a 10 p.m. And I'm like, I drink. You know, I, I don't I do not do this podcast without a drink, and I just get out of bed. I, I can't be drunk for shows at 2, 7, 10. It's like spring break weekend. Yeah. That, that's fucking... the level of drinking, because you're, you're starting, well, you're starting earlier. With, I'm, with your uh Yeah, your I'm, getting, I'm getting a cocktail. fucking kidney donated ahead of time. I already it ordered on ice. it. Yeah, DoorDash. <laughs> Bring me a kidney because I'm not going to be able to make this. Organ Hub. <laughs> and I'm I, and I'm too proud to say no. I, I'm I'm going to duck out of some of these gigs. I I don't even know if I'm getting paid to be here. I have no idea. I they don't tell me anything. Uh, so I I have a, they have they put a lot of fucking money into this. They have a a full color. Like a high school yearbook of the Hard history back. of the yeah. last five years of Skank Fest with pictures and sponsors and everyone's things. It's got an autograph page so you can go out. I'm going to carry this around just so I, when I see people and they go, Hey, Doug, like yesterday, we were eating at that shitty Mexican place downstairs and, uh, someone goes, Hey, Stanhope, see you this weekend, Skank Fest. And I go, I don't know if that's a fan. A comic that I don't remember, a comic that I haven't met, a comic that I have met, but his face doesn't yeah, yeah. ring a bell. So I'm just going to carry my yearbook around with have me. Have sign it? And when someone says, hey, Stanhope, I'm going to go, what's your name? And then I'm going to look him up in alphabetical order. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to have him sign it so you would, well, no, wouldn't I, have to ask their name. Yeah, I'm like, oh, oh, that's even a better idea. Yeah. God damn it, your management material. Yeah, I just go, oh, hey, will you sign my yearbook? Or you can go. Oh, hey! I didn't see your picture in here. Are you in here? Yeah. No. Just go to your go to your picture and sign sign it. And then when they sign it, I'll go. And if they they go, 
sign what picture? I'll go, oh, fan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is beautiful. Do you remember? Now, you were here in 2016. Do you remember any yeah, of this? I, I only remember it because the book, No Encore for the Donkey, still available on Audible. The hard copy will be available evidently after I fire Brian Hennigan. <laughs> And you can tweet at Mr. Hennigan. Uh, Stan up mentioned in the podcast that you're getting fired because you will not produce a fucking hard copy of this book, no matter how much he threatens to fire you. So you can fire. Oh, my God. Those pants I was wearing. You're on a trash heap, but you're looking stylish yeah. and you're yellow. Yeah, this was 2016. I was yeah. promoting the first book back then. And I wrote about this or I found like, I, like what did I do? And I, I found some tweet or something where I, I go, oh, I fell asleep on a pile of trash before it was even dark out. And I remember I had to get up and go back to the hotel because I had to do Stern in the morning, <laughs> yeah. like oh, six yeah. in the you fucking had a morning. Of, that was the, the junket. You yeah. A ton of things. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I knew because I had, I had found that in my, uh, when I was looking up shit for oh, yeah, yeah. no encore core for the donkey in my due diligence Get your timeline that, going that I where I oh I fell asleep on a fucking pile of trash evidently they have a picture of it in here I thought it was nighttime but no evidently it was daytime <laughs> why are you doing that we're not putting this out on video no maybe, with this head maybe Jesus you cleaned up your boogers so remember that safe yeah, it was. Uh, I think It'd it was be uh, uh, before turning the gun on himself. I think that was the opening joke on that. Where you ever look in the mirror and go, "That can't be accurate." <laughs> <laughs> Getting smoky. Oh, good. Yeah, let's have a cigarette. In for a penny, in for a pound. Thank you, everyone, for listening. If you're at Skankfest, I think this is probably going to come out while I'm still here. Yes, uh, I want to say thanks to Clay, uh, head of security. At Skank Fest, he took care of us last night because yeah, uh, none of us had passes. <laughs> but he's a listener of the show. Oh, I did get he a lanyard. Yeah, I don't know where it's that right is. There. I'll put it all right there. Right. So, <coughs> we're all God good. Damn, and we'll, that's a good suit. <coughs> we'll see you in. Uh, we'll see you in West Palm. Yeah, West Palm, Fort Lauderdale, Orlando, Tampa, D- Dania. Mm, then suicide. Dania. Yeah, that's Fort Lauderdale. That, they know oh, where it right. is. Dania Beach, something. Yeah. It's Lauderdale. All right. Thank you guys very much. Bingo. Want to give us a live one? Bingo. Give us a live. Okay. Bye-bye now. Okay. All right.